If you're like me and you've been avoiding shooting tethered for whatever reason, stick with us to this episode of Photography 180 and I'm gonna show you how Capture One has made it so easy. Okay, so the truth is I've been living under a rock when it comes to shooting tethered. I don't like the idea of having a cable connected to my camera running to uh, the MacBook Pro or, or iMac or whatever it might be. Uh, so when I found out Capture One had a wireless tethering feature, I was uh, very intrigued to try it out. And I wanna go through the menu here on my Sony A92. I know it's gonna be different from every camera, but going into this menu here, I wanna show you just how a few simple steps will get you connected to your MacBook Pro and get you shooting tethered, which is going to be a, a great advantage when you're doing your studio shoots even out on location. So I'm gonna go into the menu for Sony A92. I'm gonna go into network one, and there's a PC remote function. So I want to click into that. Now that setting has to be turned on. So we're going to go from off to on. And then there's a PC remote connection method. In my case, I want to put Wi-Fi direct. There are a couple of choices here, but if you want to wirelessly tether to capture one very easily, I go into Wi-Fi direct and I'm going to hit the right arrow because I want to get into Wi-Fi um, direct info. And that's going to give me my SSID and password that I'm going to use to connect. So I'm going to set that down. I'm going to jump over to the laptop. So here in the laptop, I'm going to go over to my uh, Wi-Fi option and here I'm going to see the SSID that matches my camera's um, private Wi-Fi connection. So I'm going to click on that. I won't be prompted to enter the password here because I've previously made this connection before. But as you can see in the tether uh, section of Capture One Pro, uh, we are going to see the Sony A92 now up here with all the information that is available. Now I can do many things here. I can go to live view. I can uh, use my shutter button here. I can adjust my Kelvin. Uh, there's so many features that I can't even get into um, just because for me personally, I'm still new to Capture One. But having used this, having been able to, um, to take shots during a session, have a JPEG come in, uh, I can have a style pre-applied to it if I'd like. It's just such a, a valuable tool that I don't know why I've been avoiding for so long. I think mostly for concerns regarding technology, but I'm telling you, this is a game-changing feature for me. I recommend you go out there, download Capture One Pro, give it a try. For me, doing my headshot sessions and portrait sessions in studio, having my clients and other people we're collaborating with be able to see uh, the results sort of in real time without having to show the back of my camera, being able to make adjustments on the fly. It's all such an a better way to do things. And so I'm recommending you go out there and try it for that reason. Uh, this can also be done by the way with an iPad. If you want to use an iPad over a MacBook Pro, the process is very similar. Definitely go download the trial, give it a shot. Let me know what you think and uh, appreciate you checking out the channel. Look forward to seeing you guys again next week on Photography 180.